it's mom Helen and we will discuss in this video solving the type of limit that does not exist using tables and graphs. So let's do this with the example. The example is the limit of the function or the ab 2 times the absolute value of x over x as x approaches 0. So as you can see, there are no... Uh, x values indicated here because I wanted you to learn how to identify. How do we identify the values for x? Ba? So, high to low, that means we add 2. So, number is greater than what your x approaches. So, let's start with 2. And then we're approaching 0. Ha? Remember, we are approaching 0. So, pa ba ba? 2, 1.5, 1. 0 0.5. Please take note, the first four numbers will just be composed of numbers with the increment 0 0.5. Then for the rest of the numbers, by 0 0.1. Therefore, this one will now be 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and 0 0.1. Such that if you round this off, you will be approaching 0. On the other table now. As x approaches 0, but from the left side. So that means these are numbers lower than 4. Numbers, uh, sorry, numbers lower than 0. And numbers lower than 0 will be negative numbers. Very good. So we have negative 2. We are approaching 0. Negative 2. Negative 1.5, negative 1, and negative 0 0.5. Don't get confused. Huh? This will not be negative 2.5 because you have to approach 0. When you are indicating your table, uh, the values in your table, okay? Then negative 0 0.4, 0 0.3, negative 0 0.2, and negative 0 0.1. Now let's do the calculator trick, trick that I taught you. First, we press mode, look for tables. F of x now. I suggest you start by pressing the fraction book, uh, fraction key para may numerator and denominator ka agad. And then press 2 times the absolute value. In my calculator, the absolute value is shift and then ABS. You'll find there ABS. For other calculators, you will find it um, as two lines with a square in the middle. That's also the abs It also means absolute value. You might find it to look like this, this symbol is also, it also means absolute value. But in my calculator, I'm using FX991ES plus of Casio. I find it as shift and then ABS. Look for the yellow abs. Buti pa may abs, diba? Ayan. And then don't forget alpha X all over alpha x and then press equals we start now with the lower values let's input the values properly so we have here 0 0.1 as the start 0 0.1 and end with 2 this is your end and don't forget the step is 0 0.1 and this 2 0 0.1 okay so what values were you able to get Okay, wonderful. You will be able to get 2 as the value here. And that means the limit now approaches 2. But how about the other table? Let's look at the values that you will get from the other table. This is where you start. At negative 2 because negative 2 is lower than negative 0 0.1 because these are negative numbers. And, and then your step is still at 0 0.1. And what value will you get? Okay, so you'll get negative 2, ladies and gentlemen. The value that you will get from this function is at negative 2. Negative 2. So, are we approaching the same values for the tables? You have 2 and negative 2. 2 and... Negative 2 are not equal. Therefore, in this case, since they don't approach the same values, since the tables have resulted to different values, then the limit does not exist. It's D and E. Does not exist. And yep, that's the answer for that. 
Now let's look at the graph. How would the graph of this function look like? Okay, let's type it in. We have f of x is equal to 2 times the absolute value of x all over x. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's zoom that in. Sorry. And look at it closely. From Numbers from the left of 0. Remember, we are talking about 0. Numbers from the left of 0 are approaching negative 2 here. While numbers from the right of 0 are approaching positive 2. So did they meet? No. Do we have a limit? None. Because they did not meet. Therefore, the limit does not exist. And that's it for this example. In our next video, we will talk about limit loss. See you there. Bye!